Okay, so now boys, the final one we're going to do is kinetic energy and we need to write the triangle as well as the SI unit. Kinetic energy is all about the energy to do with movement. Okay, so the triangle is Ke, kinetic energy, equals half of the mass times the velocity, the speed in other words, in a direction, squared. So here's the mass, here's the velocity, but there's two important additions to this formula. There's a half here and there's a squared here. So whatever the velocity you find, you must square it. Whatever the mass is, you must half it. And you must not forget about these two. The units of kinetic energy are joules, because it's an energy. Velocity, units are meters per second. And mass, as always, is kilograms, not grams. This is kilograms. First question, part A, is calculate the kinetic energy of a 70 kilogram athlete when he's running at a speed of 8 meters per second. So we start by writing down what they gave us. 70 kilogram athlete, 8 meters per second is his velocity because of the units. We know meters per second is velocity. 70 kilograms, this must be the mass. And we need to find kinetic energy. So we go to our triangle. We cover up Ke. Ke equals half mv squared. Ke equals half mass times velocity squared. Half mass times velocity. Ke equals half mass times velocity squared. Don't forget these two. Ke equals half mass times velocity squared. So now we just put in the numbers. Kinetic energy equals half, don't forget that number, times the mass is 70, times velocity, which is 8, squared. In your calculator, half of 70, 35, times 8 squared, 8 times 8. This is not times 2, this is squared, meaning... This actually means the number times by itself. 8 squared. 8 times 8 is 64. Then 35 times 64, you can do that using long division, no, long multiplication or a calculator. And you get your final answer, whatever that is, you put the units on joules. Joules for kinetic energy. Question part B says find the mass of a horse running with a speed of 12 meters per second if its kinetic energy is 1440 so we must find the mass if the velocity is 12 meters per second and 1440 joules is the energy in this case kinetic energy so how do we find the mass what's the equation we go to our triangle we cover up half m and it gives us Ke divided by V squared. So we write that down. Half M, that's what we covered up, equals Ke divided by V squared. Let's just check that again. Half M equals Ke divide, divided by V squared. So that's what our triangle gives us. So half of M, half of the mass, will equal to Ke, which is 1440 joules divided by V, which is 12, and don't forget, there's a squared here, so it's squared. 1440 divided by 12 times 12, because remember this is 12 times by itself, is 144, and 1440 divided by 144 is 10. Half of mass equals 10, so the full mass will equal 10, the answer, we need to get rid of this half, so we times it by 2, that's the final step, and your answer is 20 units kilogram. The last step is not to half it, 
don't do that and also remember the units of mass are kilograms final question how much is the speed of a 60 kilogram jogger if it has a kinetic energy of 750 so we need to find the speed of a 60 kilogram jogger at 750 joules kilograms is mass joules is energy and in this case kinetic energy because we need to find the velocity, the speed. What's the triangle tell us for speed? You cover up your V, it leaves us with Ke over half M. And remember you didn't cover up V, you covered up V squared so you must put that in. V squared equals Ke over half M. Ke over half M equals to V squared. Just double check it. Ae over half M equals V squared. Correct. Now we put in the numbers. Ke is 750. M is 60. But there's a half there. So you must keep that. So this turns out to be 750 divided by 30. Take out the zeros, you get 75 divided by 3, and that's 25. So V squared is 25. V squared is 25. What if you want to find V, which is what you are asked for? You're not asked for V squared, so you need to get rid of this 2. How do you get rid of it? You must take your answer, 25, and you must do square root. This symbol here, square root in the calculator. And this will give you. 5 m s is your units for velocity. Don't forget the last step, you must get rid of this too by doing a square root and not doing another squared. Some of you would do 25 squared and then you would end up getting a big number. Don't do that. You want to do the opposite of squared, which is square root.